Oh, Lord God, how can we, Lord, as men and women of God, overcome all of the corruption from the world, all of the worldly ideas that get into our lives? Well, we only can do that by being in your word and asking your Holy Spirit to guide us to truth. Bless this devotional, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to our daily devotion. If you like the video, please share it with somebody else and hit the like button. It is important that we get the word of God out in a world where nobody wants to hear the word of God. It is very difficult to maintain the order of God's word when we are told the opposite from the world. We got to come to a determination of do we believe God or not almost every minute of every day. When something contradicts God's word, believe God's word over it. Um, this is really what wisdom is. And this is why we've gone this and we've seen this verse many times where the fear of the Lord, and it comes up in more than one place, is the beginning of wisdom and understanding. So how do we overcome? In Proverbs 2, verses 4 through 6, it gives us an indication if thou seekest her, that's wisdom, as silver, and search it for her as hid treasure, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord. Again, that fear. And find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. You see, God's got that wisdom there for us. We just need to daily choose that wisdom. I'm not going to go long on today's video. I'm just going to say this. Do you believe God or not? That should be our mantra. That should be in our head. Do I believe God or not? You know, Ripley's believe it or not. Some of us are probably fake. But everything of God is like tried silver. They burn out all of the impurities. You know, back in the year 2000, my wife, as a birthday present to me, gave me one of the best birthday presents ever. She gave me a roll of silver dollars because everybody was talking about, you know, the, the, this big computer problem that was going to come. And I took that and I saved it. And I forget when, but... Um, Probably 15 years later, that same thing that she bought for $6 each, I believe we sold for $35 each. We made a lot of money. But I remember when I went to the shop, I went first to a porn shop because I didn't know where to sell this thing. And they sent me to a coin shop. But I remember when I took one out of the roll, I took it out and I had gloves on and I handled it really carefully. And somebody looked at it and says, boy, that is gorgeous. That's how we have to work at the Word of God. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, share it. And until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.